T-Rex, Velociraptor, Allosaurus and Triceratops are dinosaurs that are dangerous in their own right, that everyone has heard of before. However, in this 100 sub video, I'll be going over the more obscure prehistoric terrors that once dominated the earth of the dinosaurs. Hello guys and welcome, subscribe now if you're new. Started off with number 10, Baryonyx. A relative of the better known Spinosaurus, Baryonyx was a theropod dinosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous around 130 million years ago in what is now the British Isles, Spain and Portugal, the form of which has no large predators anymore. After first being discovered in 1983, Baryonyx's definitive feature was its crocodile-like skull, lined with sharp, conical-shaped teeth. Alongside its two powerful arms, these features made Baryonyx into a fearsome 30 feet 9 meter long fish-eating dino that could plunge its long jaws into water to catch its aquatic prey. At number 9, Bagidosaurus Pronus Pinax. This entire dinosaur's neck was covered in sharp spines that could grow to extremely long lengths, giving Bagidosaurus a protective yet deadly defense. And since this dino was strictly a herbivore that lived 140 million years ago in what is now Patagonia, carnivorous dinosaurs put themselves in great danger when facing off against this prickly foe. The Utah Raptor These dinosaurs could grow up to 3 meters tall and 5 to 8 meters in length, towering over any modern human. To put this into perspective, the Utah Raptor's dromaeosaur relative, the infamous Velociraptor, only grew to be around the size of a turkey, and even the Velociraptors in the Jurassic Park films pale in comparison to the sheer size of their dangerous cousin. But that alone didn't make the Utah Raptor one of the deadliest dinosaurs. It travelled in packs, each one armed with a foot-long curved claw on each of its feet, capable of slicing an animal wide open truly making Utah Raptor a dangerous dinosaur to come across in the US around 110 million years ago. However, Utah Raptor isn't the only pack hunter as we see next up at number 7, Mapusaurus. Like the Utah Raptor, Mapusaurus is believed to have travelled in packs, but hunted one of the largest animals to have ever walked the earth, Argentinosaurus, in late Cretaceous Argentina. Alongside killing and devouring their prey, like other carnivores, Mapusaurus would savagely rip chunks of flesh out of living Argentinosaurs, letting tall herbivore live so it could repeatedly feast on it over time. Quite resourceful, yet gruesome for a dinosaur that could grow up to 13 meters in length. At number 6, Carnotaurus. Don't let those tiny pathetic T-Rex arms fool you. Its entire neck and 30 foot long body was protected by armour made from keeled scutes, making Carnotaurus quite safeguarded for a predator. However, the true danger of this South American dinosaur may lay on the top of its head. Two blunt horns can be found on this dino's skull that were much longer and pointed when it was alive. What they were actually used for is still a mystery, yet some believe that they were used in disputes with rival males as well as to intimidate other dinosaurs. Number 5. Hawaiian Gosaurus as you can probably tell, Hawaiian Gosaurus was a member of Stegosauria, the same group that includes Stegosaurus. These Jurassic dinos were covered in plates and spikes, with two rows of triangular plates running along its back, two extremely long shoulder spikes, and tall spikes at the end of its tail, also called the Phagomizer. Being a herbivore, Hawaiian Gosaurus wasn't on the prowl for other dinosaurs, but when threatened, it had a dagger-like arsenal to dispatch of any predators around 165 million years ago. Gigantosaurus Meaning giant lizard, Gigantosaurus lives up to the name by being able to grow around 12 meters in length and in some cases outgrow even the Tyrannosaurus rex. This humongous predator stalked Lake Cretaceous Argentina, roaming along the likes of Limiosaurus, Andosaurus and the massive Argentinosaurus, all of whom were likely prey of the Gigantosaurus. Next up at number 3, Lucalcan. Lucalcan may look like it has a weird name but the name actually means the one who causes fear, and for good reason. This fear-inducing dinosaur, like Gigantosaurus, lived 85 million years ago in Cretaceous Argentina, but compared to all the other dinosaurs on this list, Lucalcan had good hearing, which made it a great hunter. However, not much else is known about the one who causes fear, as the species was only just discovered this year. Number 2. Cryolophosaurus when I think of life, the Antarctic is the last place that pops into my mind, but millions of years ago, the ice continent was green and teeming with life, including Crylophosaurus. It is thought to be the apex predator of its time, 
alongside one of the largest early Jurassic theropod being able to grow to a size of around 6.5 meters long. That isn't all. The Antarctic would often experience polar darkness, a never ending night for three to four months. Thus, the animals like Crylophosaurus that lived there most likely became well adapted for hunting with barely any light around. Finally, at number one. The 91 million old wolverine of dinosaurs, Northronychus had three long 30 centimeter curved claws on each hand. What may surprise you is that Northronychus was strictly a herbivore that fed on leaves, meaning these menacing claws were used in self-defense against carnivores it lived around, such as the medium-sized tyrannosaur, Zuni Tyrannus. In summary, a slap from this prehistoric dino would literally scar you for life. Well guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this 100 subscriber special video. If you did, then leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe for more Dino Files and help me to reach my next goal of 200. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and see you soon.